All right, so let's talk about magnesium here just briefly. So magnesium is arguably my favorite mineral, um, important for so many things in the body. Again, I could probably talk about it for, for two days. Um, very critical for nerve conduction, bone health, uh, many, many things. And many of us are actually deficient in magnesium because it's a little bit lower in the American diet than it probably was in decades past. Um, and stress actually depletes the body of magnesium, um, along with other things, including alcohol. And so a lot of Americans, just kind of on the standard American diet, are actually magnesium deficient just for those reasons. So it's something that I have a pretty low threshold to recommend for supplementation. And then I get the question usually, well, well, how much and of what kind? And that too, just like calcium, it really depends on the person, their age, their sex. Uh, a lot of things go into it. But the way that I think about magnesium, what the magnesium itself is actually complexed with determines a lot about its biochemistry within the body. And so there's, there's many different forms of magnesium. And on the scale of absorbability from the gut, there's quite a range and so on the lower end of the scale is magnesium oxide and magnesium sulfate and when those are taken orally they they are absorbed into the body but they're there it's a little bit harder I guess you could say for the body to absorb it than some of the other forms of magnesium so if we're actually trying to target the bowel let's say someone has constipation or something like that we want the magnesium to kind of help with regularity I'll say go look for oxide and sulfate, which also usually are the cheaper forms, you know, you can find them in practically any grocery store, um, but they're going to be less absorbable. So, so again, good for the bowel if that's what you're targeting, but if you're trying to go for, say, treatment of headache, you would want a form of magnesium that's absorbed into the body better. And specifically, here's one, which Life Extension makes, and they call it Neuromag for that reason is magnesium l 3 8 So studies have shown that magnesium l 3 8 crosses the blood-brain barrier better than any other form that, that we think of magnesium. And so specifically, if someone says, I've got headaches, do you think magnesium would help me? I'm going to say, look for this. Or, or with any kind of neurological condition, I'm going to say, look for that form. Two of the other most absorbable, high-quality forms of magnesium are magnesium taurate and magnesium glycinate. Glycinate is very easy on the gut, very absorbable. Um, it's, it's a high quality, just good kind of garden variety magnesium for the body, I guess you could say. And then magnesium taurate, studies have shown that when you combine taurine with magnesium, it has a synergistic effect for lowering blood pressure. And so specifically, if someone is asking me about magnesium for cardiovascular issues, hypertension, things like that, I'm going to say look for magnesium taurate. This is the way you want to go. Right in the middle of the scale as far as oral absorbability is magnesium citrate. It's a good form. Um, we think it's probably not quite as absorbable as glycinate taurate or 3 8 but is more absorbable than the oxide and sulfate. So the form of that that we have here at COEM is a little magnesium cream that we give all our new patients. And this stuff really works good. I use it for muscle spasms, uh, tense muscles, anything like that, post-workout recovery. It's really good. Um, topical magnesium can absorb into the body. One of the things that we have to have to absorb magnesium optimally is adequate stomach acid and that really applies to almost essentially all the minerals but um, so it's one more time where I'm thinking you know is the is the person making adequate stomach acid to absorb these minerals and if they're not or if they're on an acid reducer should we use magnesium topically to bypass the gut and get it into the, you know, directly transdermally into the body that way. So magnesium creams are good for that. Magnesium oils uh, also work. I've tried that. They seem to burn me. They just, I don't, uh, not saying they're bad. It's just uh, my wife loves them. I, I don't respond to them as well. Um, and even Epsom salt baths work well for being able, if you get the concentrate, the concentration, I should say, of magnesium sulfate high enough in the water it will absorb into the body. So I'm usually tell, telling people to use a high amount. The only time you have to really be careful with magnesium is people with renal insufficiency, kidney failure. Um, they do not, they, they need to be very careful. They can overdose on it. People with normal kidney function, it's almost, I don't want to say impossible to get too much magnesium, but if you take too much orally, it's just going to act like a laxative. 
um, it would be very difficult to get too much transdermally. So um, overall, huge fan of magnesium and pretty good stuff.